Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and today we have a little bit of an unboxing, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, first thing, I want to thank Blue Light Bandit again for the little tripod for my cell phone slash camera that I use for doing my videos. Um, I'm using it right now. The thing is really great. Uh, holds the phone perfectly, doesn't move around on you, and uh, yeah, thank you very much Blue Light Bandit. Secondly, uh, I finally got the rubbing compounds for doing that other Ibanez guitar to get that thing done um, so I'll be starting that tomorrow for buffing right now it's like pretty shitty damp outside kind of on the cold side and uh, I don't want to have the garage door open when it's real damp out especially with the guitar but uh, yeah so I finally got that this shit is expensive this is the 3M uh, perfect X E or EX and then this one is the uh, number one where it's the EXAC now this is the rubbing compound okay this is the actual cutting cream and this one here is the machine polish uh, there is a number three but I don't use it number three is like a, a polishing glaze or something like that that I don't use because I use something else but the stuff is like just for these two bottles is like 114 bucks okay but very well worth it if you're doing polishing and stuff uh, I would recommend 3M products for uh, rubbing compounds, tape, you know, all kinds of shit that they make is, is really good products. And uh, this stuff is the best. So let me put this off to the side because this finally came in. So let me kind of rearrange the camera a little bit and be right back. All right, so this is kind of the cool thing. If you noticed, you're a little bit closer to the counter than what you were before because this tripod has a, you can kind of form the legs a little bit to hold in certain ways. So right now I have it sitting between two shelves closer to the, my table. This is gonna work out great. Again, thank you, Blue Light. So this is the package that I ended up uh, doing a bid on eBay and the guy was basically selling all of his tools and stuff that he was using for, I guess, building guitars. I guess he wanted out of it or something. Um, this is a very, very heavy package, and uh, I'm going to get into it right now. So I got to get my razor blade and start doing what uh, was uh, evil clown. What does he say? Stab, stab, stab. I think that's what it says. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, stab, stab. Hopefully, I don't stab myself. That's one side. I was actually shocked that this came today and I was actually kind of worried because the seller had no feedback whatsoever on his uh, eBay listing and I was a little worried that this was going to be like a scam or something. You know, you know how it is nowadays. But no, it was the actual guy. He sent me an email about this uh, shortly after I ordered this or bought from him and uh, yeah so let's see what's in here because I'm kind of excited to find out myself very well packaged I gotta say this is kind of a looks like a homemade box but very well packaged okay first off we have uh, here we go I got a little crushed but we have this book here trade secrets and well it looks like it's got a little bit of everything inside here this would be a book that would be for like not only guitar but for multi-use there's inlays in here Some tools about uh, doing some neck work. 
how to drill certain things. Yeah, this is going to be really nice. Different types of tools you could use. Although these photos are, are pretty old, um, let's see, this book is copyrighted for what year? Now this is from Stumac. Uh, so, let's see, 1999. So, but the photos in here are kind of older than that. So, second book that we have here is Step by Step Finishing, Guitar Finishing which again this is going to be very handy this is copyrighted 2000 well basically it's copyrighted 2012 2008 2006 and 2005 and 1998 so it goes into you know step by step of finishes different types of finishes uh, ooh, this is good this is actually really good and gives the color this I like this I really like so I have the names of basically all of the finishes the stains basically which is going to come in very handy fretwork all right, step-by-step -step fret work. This is going to come in handy, too. So if there's anything that I've missed or anything that I've ended up uh, not doing or want to know a little bit more information about, uh, it's right here. And here is another trade secret book. So is there two books? One is Stuart McDonald. Okay, the one is volume one, and there, the first book I showed you was volume two. All right, so here is a... Uh, a 1 8 thickness file. There's a file on this side and there's a file on this side. Uh, don't know what that would be used for, but I would find out if we'll find out. So here we have the Stumac. These are the Stumac uh, nut files. And there is quite a bit of them here. So we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks like there is a nine, ten right here. Here is an eleven. Here is a twelve. Wow, these are even for bass guitars too. Nice. Um, let's see, is there any more? Oh, there's a few more here. Uh, let's see what else is here. That is basically um, fret marker material. So right now I'm just looking for more of these fret files just in case I missed any. So here is a whole, I guess probably every fret file that you would need to do. Uh, or not fret file, sorry, I got that mixed up. That's my bad. I'm a little excited here, so I don't know if you can tell. Um, nut filing for doing your nut slots. All right, next we have a crowning tool, and I know this crowning tool is very expensive because I actually had one on save on my eBay uh, account, and yeah. Ooh, this is nice. It is a two-sided. This edge here is smooth. This edge here is smooth. Actually, has this got a divot in it? No, it doesn't. Nope, there's two smooth sides. So this is probably for going around the edges of the frets to fix the, uh, the fret ends. Now this tool I have, this has never been used. Look at that. There's no nothing in here. This is the tool that I have that I use for doing my uh, fret crowning. Alright, so this is <laughs> Stumac Fender 2 point or 25.5 and 25 inch scale. This is what you use for doing your frets. So anybody out there who is trying to check or, or use some type of a template for uh, your frets, this is what you need right here. And there's also two of them in here. This is for Fender Bass 34 and 35 inch scale 
tell you, these are pretty heavy. And then this right here is a fret saw, which has has been used. I can see it's been used. Still very, very sharp. Okay, nice. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. And here's a few humbucker pickup rings. We got uh, basically like Les Paul style right here. And again, Les Paul style right there. Now there was, I thought there were some metal ones in here too as well. Whoops, lost a screw here. All right, here's, here is a shallower roller bridge and a three-way switch. Here's a, another bridge. I gotta put these screws inside so don't lose them. Oh, here you go. Here, that's nice. Looks like it's for Gibson. Oh, that's a nice bridge. Here's another shallower bridge. Very, very nice. Put these guys in here. Put this back on here. Move this off to the side. A couple of sanding blocks. Uh, looks like I have to take some either lacquer thinner or some rubbing alcohol to remove the marks. We have a 14 and a 20 here. Scale or uh, radius. All right, so what are these? Goto locking tuners. Here is a whole package of them. All six. Three and three, maybe? Maybe that's what these are. These are from Stuart. So these are Goto. And let's see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but oh, where's the actual. It says Goto on it. Locking tuners. Nice. Very, very nice. Let me put this off to the side. Here we have some, again, Goto base tuners. We have a set of four. Yep, with all the hardware and everything else. These are Goto's. And what is this? Alright, I don't know what this little tiny pin is for, so if anybody would know what that's for, you know, shoot me a, a message, please. Alright, so we have some more here. This is, this and this here look like they are fret marker material. Black and white. We have a couple of, actually three of them. These have been used. I can see that they have uh, ah, double face tape on them. And these are not Stumac. I don't know where these guys came from. But they are base pickup routing templates. I don't have any of those, so that's kind of nice. These guys here are a V7 and a V8. I want to say these are Ibanez pickups. I'll have to check to see if they work. Uh, three wired. Uh, this one's a little bit bent, but easily put that right back in space and spot and I'll get a something to check to see if it's square so I'll check to see if these are any good then over here we have another piece of a bigger piece than the other white one of the uh, fret marker and then we have some you know I never had or held a piece of fret wire before. That's kind of kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I never held any fret wire before. Looks like that somebody did cut off some pieces on it, but there's quite a bit of it here. I'd say enough to do enough to do a neck. I don't know that these two loose ones here are what size they are. Well, okay, it says 125, 124. And all these are 120 or 152. So, oops, sorry, 154. And this one is 152. And these are a 156. So it's probably size. 
maybe. Something that I'll have to look into. And here is a empty bag that probably went for this, more likely. Two-way truss rod. This looks like an old used two-way truss rod, but I bet you it still still works. If I can get the line up, yeah, it still works. I can kind of feel it putting tension on it, it turns. All right, so in here we have more stuff. I'll get my razor blade out. So what do we got here? That's everything. Nice little package. All right. If you know what these are, these are for uh, going over your frets. There are three of them. Actually, there's more than three. One, two, three, four, five, six. They go over your frets and you can kind of lock these in place with these rubber bands here uh, for fret protectors. This has got to be some type of a scraping tool or a neck radius for the back. This is another Stuart McDonald. This I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to go on to Stuart McDonald's and actually find out exactly what these are. Uh, if you guys know, then uh, go ahead and shoot me a... Uh, comment at the bottom we have six string pharaohs here that always kind of nice and what are these oh these are top pharaohs that go on the top of the guitar so you have a set of the bottom ones and you have a set of the top ones some string trees I believe yeah these are some string trees now these aren't your your typical stamped what you would see on a um, uh, like a squire or something like that these are a little bit thicker and the edges where the strings going is kind of tilted a little bit strap locks now this one hasn't even been opened but here are more I want to say of the same actually there's only a couple inside of here uh, of the protectors for your frets when you're doing fret work, cleaning, polishing, whatever. Ooh, nice. Little tiny inlays. That's, that's sweet. And here is some even smaller inlays. And here is some even really small inlays. Ah, uh, this is a... Wow, that's a small radius. Uh, I don't think that would be for frets, no? That's really tiny. Maybe for violin or some type of other guitar. You know, let me. I have to look at Stuart McDonald. This is all Stuart McDonald shit. And this would be for your guitar. So these I like because um, the ones that I have are separate ones. These things here are uh, all put together. So instead of going through a bag of separate tools, you have them all in one right here. That I like. Alright, so we have... Oh, we got blank nuts here. Boom nuts. Looks like there's one for a... Like a Telecaster or a Strat style. And the rest of these... Are they marked with the... Uh, string placement? Nope, you all that. You, you got to do it yourself. And then we have here just some basic wire with a couple of caps capacitors now some of this stuff I'm not going to be using um, I don't know about these fret markers I don't know if I'm going to be end up using them or not uh, some of this stuff I may not be using so I'll, I'll probably end up doing a giveaway on this stuff at least some of it all right let's see what these guys are this one got crushed these are EMGs um, selected picked up for guitar slash bass and uh, let's see are these EMGs or are they not EMGs uh, it feels like a humbucker okay so these are bass 
brand new. Holy shit, these are brand fucking new. These are base humbuckers, or uh, pickups. EMG selected, designed by EMG. Okay, so these are base. Uh, apparently this guy must have been doing some base work more than anything else. And the way this rubber band is starting to disintegrate over here, it looks like he has been uh, had these for a little while now. Yeah, the box got a little bit crushed and I end up ripping it more to open it, so I'm going to have to do something about that to fix it, make it look a little prettier. Alright, so then we have another EMGs. This is a humbucker. At least that's what it says on the box. Oh, that rubber band broke. And that's what it is. EMG Select Humbucker, again, had not been used. The wires are not stripped or nothing. And it has all the hardware with it right here. They do have magnets in them. Now, it does not say neck or bridge on that, so I'm guessing I'm just going to have to, like, put a meter on it to find out how hot it is. And this one here says humbucker as well. How the hell did he put this rubber band on here? Yeah, these rubber bands, this is pretty old. You see how this rubber band is kind of stretched out like that? It's been like that for a while. Alright, so here is another. Still has the plastic on it. Does not look it's bit like it's been soldered at all. These are not active. So they're basically EMGs uh, Select, designed by EMGs. I don't know anything about these, so I'm not too sure. But if anybody wants these, that is, if anybody wants these pickups that are inside the U.S in the US only let me know because I would ship them out to you I I don't need any of this stuff so I really don't need it so that's basically it now to clean up my mess that's over here um yeah so I can get rid of this there's nothing more in here I didn't miss anything nothing fell in the cracks no nope, it looks like everything that the guy was selling is here So again, if there's anybody out there who wants a EMG uh, Select or a design by, there's a base pickup here. There's there's two of the um, uh, the two small single coils that go side to side, or uh, and then there are two humbuckers here. If anybody wants those, let me know. If anybody wants this two-way truss rod, let me know. Um. I am going to say this though, uh, I don't need, I don't need these little inlays. I really don't. I'm not doing anything right now that uh, has. I'm not doing anything that has this type of a perloid inlay. So if anybody wants these inlays, let me know. As far as everything else goes, uh, oh, another thing too. The fret wire. The fret wire and the three sticks, which are different sizes and two different colors. Uh, let me know if you guys, anybody out there who, like I said, only in the U.S. is looking for any of this stuff. Uh, let me know. Also, the V7 and the V8 pickup. Let me know if you got anybody out there that's wanting them. And uh, as long as you guys are in the U.S., I will ship that stuff out to you. Everything else that I have over here, I'm pretty much going to keep. Uh, the books, the tools, uh, especially the tools, um, and I'm going to be using that stuff. So this is the pile for right now. So I know Zip, if you're out there, if you need a, a two-way truss rod, uh, let me know. Somebody let me know. Uh, you know, if Zip, if you need any, any fret wire or 
and, and ladies, let me know. So I get to decide. So if you, there's like a bunch of people that are saying, and they're saying, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Um, I get to decide who gets what. I will end up pulling straws or sticks, toothpicks, something, you know, on deciding who gets it. So this is the pile right here. Uh, everything else here, like the pharaohs, the, I mean, the tuners, they're goto tuner, tuners. So, you know, I know about them. And I'm not going to be, like, giving that stuff away. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, these two roller bridges and stuff. I actually use those roller bridges. So, uh, yeah. All right, folks. Um, that's it for now. I hope uh, I'm actually kind of... I'm surprised at all the stuff that came in here. And I'm actually surprised that the person uh, shipped out everything that he had in his he was shipping so you guys take care have a good one and uh again let me know in the comments down below if anybody needs anything um only u.s shipping and then send me a private email please of uh you know what you're looking for so you guys take it easy have a good one and i will talk at you all later